Hey there and welcome back. As always, I'm Carl with Target's Attitude, absent my professor of knives and all things sharp. Sit on back, grab your pens and paper, class is about to begin. Today we're taking a look at another new one from Civivi, the Courser. Yes, the Courser. It's a neat looking knife, but we'll get to it in a minute. First, we've got to get that uh, syllabus work taken care of. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We do mainly knife reviews with an occasional view of some camping or survival gear, lights, cooking equipment, that sort of thing. Then on Mondays, we do a series on knife basics aimed mainly at people who are new to the knife world. Want to know what we're talking about when we start hauling out all the fancy terminology. For those of you who have been with us for a while, welcome back. Glad to see you again. I only got one question for you, and yes, you know what it is. Have you subscribed yet? And if not, why not? I mean, as I keep telling you, it's so simple. Just hit that button right down there that says subscribe. Then they hit the bell next to it. That way you get notified every time we do a new video. It's a win-win situation, man. It's a win for you because you get to notified whenever I do a new video. It's a win for me because... Well, let's be honest, the more subscribers I have, the easier it is to get these neat new things to shoot videos on. So let's help each other out, shall we? But enough of that. Let's go on to what you're actually here to see. It's a Vivi Courser. Very sweet little knife. No, it's not a sister opening for those of you who aren't familiar with Vivi. It's just that smooth. As you can see, if it was a sister opening, you couldn't shake it closed like that. Just, yeah, I accidentally shook that one open. So, yeah, it's just very nice. This particular one has tan G10 handles. It's also available in a green and a black. It is about, about four and a half inches closed. Titanium pocket clip. Stainless steel. Mm, uh, hardware and liners, cage ceramic ball bearings for the pivot, and of course it's got the C on the pivot point on one side, which is nice. A little backspacer right here, and let's see if we can show you. The frame is skeletonized slightly, but it's so small it's hard to tell. Very nice liner lock. Locks up a good third of the blade without too much trouble. It's got rather interesting jimping on the back of the blade. I mean, it's almost file work. Very sweet. Blade itself is 3.45 inches. Instead of the D2 that most Civivis use, this one is using VG10. So, still a better quality steel, just a step up in some ways from what they normally use. Again, very sweet. It's a little blocky, but not bad. Still very comfortable in the hand. Everything is right where it needs to be. You can choke up on it using the choil, but you know, it's just... It's putting your finger right against the sharp edge of the blade, so I really don't recommend that. Well, let's see how it does, shall we? As always, this is straight out of the box. No touch-up. Start off with an old piece of scrap paper. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see this. Sure can't complain about that. Not in a heartbeat. Same piece of corrugated cardboard. Let's see how it does with this. Straight through. Not bad. It's flat grind, by the way. I personally prefer whole grind, but the flat grind certainly works well. And, yeah, it's, it's just shredding that 
cardboard like nobody's business. What you doing, kitten, hmm? Of course, you can't shred cardboard around here without one of the cats going nuts and thinking it has to be something good for you. Let's see here. Empty tea bottle. Let's see how it handles hand packaging, too, shall we? And without too much trouble. And definitely cuts it open quick and easy. Went through that just like proverbial hot knife through butter. Uh, let's see here. Paracord. Paracord. And here's the paracord. Where's the end of the paracord? There's an end of paracord. So, just cut one quick loop. Cut the big loop fine. Let's go for a smaller loop. One that we can just fit the tip through. Man, you can't beat that. That is gorgeous. Let's see here. So cardboard, paper. Yeah, let's go for the uh, leather here. As always, standard heavy gauge cowhide. Let's see how it does cutting this. Well, I'm sure not going to complain about that. Might not use it as a skinning knife, but uh, if you needed to cut some leather to repair a pair of chaps or old vest, it'll do the job for you without too much trouble. Let's see here. Zip ties. Let's see how it does with zip ties. As you've heard me say time and time again, one of the handiest things ever invented. Loved by everyone from electricians looking to tie up uh, wires. IT people looking to keep uh, cables organized and from bunching up. I just campers looking to attach things to frames and like. They're just a Good all around, great thing. Especially since once you put it through that loop, can't back it up. Only problem is normally use a pair of you know, diagonal cutters to cut it. Let's see how this does. One time. Great. Let's see if you want to trim it after putting it through something. Man, you can't beat that. That is fantastic. So, last thing, piece of wood from a wood shop. Let's see how it does with this, shall we? Feathers it up nicely. Let's see here. Don't normally do this with folding knives, but let's see. Considering the tip on it, let's see here. Now the weight's going to pull it out, but you know, still not bad. So, let me get the leather glove here. For those of you who missed it, when I was testing the Astacus, turned out the knife was just a mite bit but thirsty. So my wife has uh, forbidden me to taunt anymore without wearing a glove. And as always, no, batoning with a pocket knife is not a good idea. That pivot point is going to give away with you sooner or later. But with the knife straight out of the box as a one-time test... Yeah. Okay. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad an idea with this one after all. I mean, yeah, a little shininess is on the blade, but nothing major. That shininess could probably be polished right out.
Yeah, it's just yeah, wet beautifully. So let's get that piece of paper back here. And let's see if we uh, suffered any damage from the test. Doesn't look like it. Went through all that just beautifully. So there you have it. The Courser from Civivi. Sweet, sweet knife. Let me just double check pricing on it here. Um, yeah. This is one of the few that Civivi doesn't have a map price on. Uh, suggested retail price is Seventy nine ninety five, which for a knife of this quality, I'm sure I'm not going to complain about that at all. I don't know about you, but I sure wouldn't complain. And as always, like every other Civivi, it comes with a black case, a very nice one, and a cloth to clean it with, plus a couple stickers. What more could you ask for? Uh, not for today. Kind of guy get going, so. I wish you luck. You take care of yourself. See you next week. Meantime, got a couple videos right over here that I think you might enjoy. And of course, as always, just hit this little target floating around right over here. That way you can subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope you do. And we'll see you again later. Bye now.